Hey guys, uh, what is happening? So today what I want to show you is a rather small video on how to rename your indexes. Right, so let's say you have a customer who created an index and then after some time they decided that they don't want to use that index name, they want to use something else. Right, uh, so that is what I'm going to show you how, how you can get it done. Um, so this is the two indexes that we're going to work with. Uh, so we have the Cisco firewall index and we have the web index. So Cisco firewall index actually have some data in there uh, from Cisco ASA. Uh, so some dummy data that I onboarded. Cisco firewall. So I'm going to put it on all the time. So we have some dummy data in here from 2018, right? So the request here from the, um, so let's say we have to like rename this index to let's say just firewall, right? We, we are going to skip the Cisco part, right? So what I'm going to do, so this is for on-premise, right? So what we have to do is, first of all, we have to turn off, turn off Splunk. So I'm going to show you both the methods of how you can do this. Uh, so that is, uh, if you want to do it on Splunk, on premise and Splunk cloud, right? So we are going to do it on, uh, now I'm going to show you how we are going to do it on Splunk on premise, right? So we have the index defined already. Uh, so the index name is Cisco Fiber, right? So all we have to do is, first of all, we go and rename the uh, index name. So this index is defined in So this index is defined in search local because I created the index from the uh, GUI, right. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the index here, right. So I'm going to skip this, I'm going to change this to firewall, this to firewall and this to firewall. right so that is done next thing what we have to do is we go to this location uh, of splunk var lib splunk so this is where your indexes are actually defined right i mean where it is stored right so if you can see here you have the cisco firewall uh, folder right so what you do here is move Cisco firewall to firewall right so the whole folder is renamed to firewall so we skip the whole Cisco part right so just to recap two things we did we went and renamed the Cisco part from Cisco firewall to normal firewall right and then we renamed Fold right now. We can start Splunk. Okay. So if you search again, there's no more events here, yeah, right? So if you search for firewall, there. 
so the index got renamed to firewall all right so this is this can be done on uh, clusters as well so you have to rename the folders on your uh, search at the index appears and then you rename the um, file on the cluster master so that it shows the the new location and then you uh, restart it right so you stop it you change the names you change the cluster master file then you start up everything and then it will be changed but then just remember you really need to know what you're doing right so we are dealing with customers data so make sure that if you are not aware of how splunk works always engage with professional services don't attempt it if you are new to splunk because there's a chance that you can actually lose out on all your data or if your definition is wrong splunk will not even start up all right so if you are not um, comfortable with it don't do it at all always engage with professional services all right um, you can get in hold of your uh, sales engineer or your sales team and they will get in get you in touch with your ps guys right and they can help you out right so that's it so this so this is what i shown you is how you do it on uh, on premise so if you are a splunk cloud customer right so you don't have access to your uh, backend right so let's say you want to change something on splunk cloud uh, what you would do is so we have this second uh, index called web right uh, so we have like 3704 events here right so what you can do is so let's say the customer tells you that yeah you want to rename web to cisco web right so first of all what you do is you create an index called cisco web web right and then you go back to search and then you say index is equal to web right you can see all your data here so this is some dummy data that I loaded on on the index so this is the index right so we are moving it from here using the collect command collect right uh, and then output format is equal to heck right and then you put the index name index is equal to uh, cisco web right so the way it works is we are running a search right and then this Plunk service is calling all your data right so all your data is being called till here and then the same data that is being called is being collected right is being collected and is getting re-indexed into the new index right so calling all data collecting the data and re-indexing it to the new index right so there's a lot of downsides to doing this right um, the thing is your searches would have to run the whole search let's say you have like billions of lines of events on your index right your search would have to run this command collect all billion lines of event and then send it back to the indexer tier right and that is a long process all right so it happened so fast for me because i have very minimal number of events here right so if i had like a billion events right it would have taken me like three days to do the whole work all right so if the customer is really insisting that they get it renamed the only way you can have it done is you run the search like per day you you sell it today you run the search you collect and send to index 
then you sell you sell it for yesterday you run the search again you collect your index and you do that then you do it for the previous day you run and do it right so it is a very long and tedious process but then that is the only way that you can actually rename something on splunk cloud uh, even if you contact um, splunk support they cannot help you with the rename because of the way that splunk cloud indexes data it is quite different to how splunk on premises indexing data uh, and that is the reason that you cannot have a have a rename or something on on splunk cloud so the only way that you can do it is like that so back to the topic if you run the search for index is equal to cisco web we can actually have all the data here right so once we have it here we can just go ahead and delete the old index right so if you just delete the old index we can just delete it right finish so yeah that is how you do it um, again use abundant caution you're dealing with the customer's data i won't recommend you doing this on your own if you are not familiar with it always engage with professional services don't attend it by yourself and uh, yeah as always reach out to me if you have any questions um, and uh, i can try to help you guys out all right so i'll be back next week with some other topic thanks guys